All right, when we talk about Moji, we talk about needing an HTML page and to go with that, a CSV page. So let me refresh on one of these HTML pages. The idea would be we're doing this for ourselves or a client. Welcome to our website. Whoever it is. And so with that in mind, the question becomes this. What is a variable? What is a var? Okay, a var is a variable. And it means this. Every single word on this page is coded into the page, right? We can see that. They're words, all right? They're, they're all words, right? And so all these words are here. If I right-click and look at the source code, it's all words, all right? Now, here's the thing. If I wanted to make a, a copy of the page for each thing that they would need, uh, that could be a lot of pages. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at what that would be like. They're in Elkhart or Goshen, which are sister cities. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, instead of listening to her again. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is look for a list. Let's say, hey guys, I can very quickly make a very large site for you to cover all of the surrounding cities that you do business in for all the keywords you need. List of cities, okay, near, all right, uh, Elkhart, Indiana. And I'm going to get travel math. It's going to be my favorite. I love travel math. I use them for all my cities because I just like the way they do this. Uh, there it is. These are the cities nearby. Okay. There's some odd 15 or so. Yeah, there's 15. Copy. So what am I going to do? I'm going to paste that to a page. Boom. I'm going to clean this up. There's some that kind of hang over in the next column for whatever reason. Okay. So just clean it up. Boom. And then I'm going to save this, you know, file save as, and I'm going to put this there and I'm going to call it, um, I may as well call it VARS because I'm going to be going that way real soon. Now, here's the point. I just got my list of cities, okay? These are all of my cities, get it? Now that I got all my cities, I want all of my keywords because I want to mix and match all these things, right? So watch this trick. The first thing I'm going to do is this. First thing I want to do is rename this from .txt to CSV because now I need lists. Lists and lists and lists and lists. Okay? Vars. Okay? That's my cities. And I may as well give this first row a name. I'm going to insert. And you'll see why in a little bit. This is going to be var1. Okay? And so variable1. One. one variable I'm going to work with is this column of information. Yes, you can have more than one word in it. Yes, you can have symbols in it. You can have anything in here but a pipe. For those of you that know, we've built Moji in such a way that you have to change the default delimiter in your control panel to a pipe. You know, I can just do that real fast. Control panel, I'll just show you, right? Uh, region and language, okay? Additional settings on the formats tab. Make sure it's in some English format. Usually US, UK, Australia, or New Zealand are going to work. I don't know about the rest. Okay. And so if you're not getting Moji to work right, then go change to the right format. Check yours. Make sure it's good. Uh, additional settings. List separator. List separator is your comma separated value concept, right? Everyone normally sees this all the time. It's, it's commas. Well, when you run Moji, you got to change it to a pipe. By the way, this doesn't affect your documents. It affects the way they look but it doesn't change them. So you can come in here and change this back and forth between a pipe and a comma anytime you want. It's not going to be a problem, okay? It even shows up in your drop-down box, okay? So I got my first bar. Now I'm going to want another variable, you know, because we also have to think about more. Namely, I need keywords, don't I? Let me go get a bunch. So let's just say, you know, um, plumber, all right, keywords, uh, something like that. And then plumberseo.net's got the keywords I need, being the most common concept here, right? Hi, this is Josh. Okay. Now, here we go. I get a keyword and a bunch of data that goes along with them. Um, I'm just going to want to, like, really just get the list I want. Okay, so, you know, I'm just going to do some geriatics with this thing to make it work. So I'm going to just paste it like over here, paste, and see how this looks. Instead of pasting it this way, I'm going to paste it as text only, not as, with all the formatting, but just with te as text, so I can deal with it more directly. Well, first thing I'm going to do is expand that column out, double-click, you know, once you see the line with the two arrows. And now, 
I know that there's a lot of views and stuff that's great for telling someone that there's a lot of, you know, uh, searches for this, but that's not useful for my purposes. Okay, not on this sheet. This sheet, I want to get rid of all these things. Delete. Bap. Okay. I'm going to make this var2. So, you know what? Watch. I'll just delete everything in between. And that way I can put var2 up here. By the way, the var columns don't matter. It doesn't matter what order they're in. They don't need to appear in a particular order or anything like that. What does matter is on a CSV file, it can only save one, one sheet. That you can work in so do not go creating extra sheets or when you save it it will only save that one sheet and completely delete everything else as soon as you close and open it again it'll all be gone so do not create extra sheets if you're in a csv file or you're going to lose your main sheet okay so do all your work in the same tab just so you don't accidentally mix it up all right now functionally speaking okay how many total pages can we make for this for for our plumber in this area any one of them any one of them okay i've got like two three four five i might offer jobs to see who wants to bite i can use the same information for all of them because the same information applies or plumbers that serve probably all these cities and they probably do all these keywords if i wanted to i could send them this file right now or after you know we start working together right and they say yeah let's work together Okay. I can just send them and say, oh, by the way, please uh, go through this file and just delete out um, any of the cities you don't service and any of the uh, keywords that you don't do. Uh, if you want to make separate files for that, you can. You can put like uh, a list of cities here and then underneath it a list of the, the keywords. You could just do that. If So for anyone who says, well, I don't know if they can handle a CSV file. Well, you don't need to. You don't need to worry about it. You simply, you know, put down something like, you know, please check through the cities and make any changes necessary. And then check through the keywords and let me know if there's anything you don't do. Okay. See how simple this is? It's not, it's not hard. It's not rocket science. It's not tricky. Uh, it's not anything else. All right. And so literally you can save that and send it to the guy and just give it a name. Right. Um, and say uh, check right check uh, lists you know uh, something like that okay so by definition by the way how many different web pages can we create at the rate of one geotargeted web page per keyword the answer is so far from the information we have on the page we have 15 total cities that's you know 16 minus 1 because of the header that doesn't count so we have 15 cities times, again, we're going to have minus 1. So 44. What is 15 times 44? You know, we just pull it up, right? Uh, calculator's in the other window. You know, 15 times 44, right? We can create a 660 web page site for this guy and sell it to him for like 25 cents a page or 50 cents a page or whatever you want. If you sold it for a quarter a page just so he could have it and have it all installed, then you make 165 bucks just for doing it. Okay. Now, reality check is you may as well sell it for like double that, right? Times two, 50 cents a page, and he's still going to want to buy. That's 330 bucks you make for what for you is going to wind up being very little work and work that you get to repeat over and over and over and over again. All you have to do is change the cities out, and you can go nationwide. Somebody would say, what about a, a plumber in Denver? Well, what do you think you do? List of cities near, you know, Denver, right? All right, and I'm going to get my travel math here somewhere. There we go. Boom. And so I can just grab my list. It's also 15. Okay. And paste it like to a text file real quick. Clean it up. Boom. Clean that up. Boom. Take all of this. Control C. And just stick it in here. You know in place of my other uh cities you know or save it as a separate var sheet with a new name denver vars or denver plumber vars you know whatever it is you want to do okay i'm going to stick with this for now but there you have it so we said that we can make variation pages and these are the examples here by the way is there another variable we can use to make this much much bigger yet because realize that it's all multiplication you see we are going to have a page for every keyword for this city plus 
a page for every keyword for this city plus a page for every keyword for this city that's how we get this times this a 660 well you know what there's residential and there's commercial which is a very simple question that you can also ask when you're asking them to check the keywords right do you service uh, residential you know commercial right and then when they answer and say one or the other or both then you know all right so guess how cool that is residential right commercial now we just changed everything didn't we because now we have this whole stack times two so we went from 660 to 1320 total pages we can make for the guy we can make 1320 pages now let's do our math even at a quarter a page 1320 times 0.25 equals right 330 bucks you make if you only charged a quarter a page to do the incredible feat of creating 1,320 web pages for the guy, plus all of the right sitemaps are going to be auto-generated and hierarchically organized, and the whole thing's going to be put up on his server, and all the sitemaps you can submit to Google Form on his behalf so Google sees it all, or just let Google discover it on his website. That's why he created all the sitemaps on his website in the first place. Um, so yeah, somebody has to want all, you, you know, literally every keyword covers. Matter of fact, if somebody goes, what, what are these uh, pages going to do? And you're going to say, they're going to be targeted for all the keyword combinations. Again, what I say, don't do it like this, but I'm just going to show you real quick because it's a VAR sheet. Don't screw it up. All right. I just want to show you something. If you wanted to actually show a guy a list, right? then you could just give him the list. Talk about making it really easy for somebody to get tantalized by it, right? Uh, let's see, let me do it this way. I am going to insert this column, okay, here, boom. That way it's in the right order, okay? Then I'm gonna hit mass. What I'm gonna do is mass this thing out. It's gonna tell me 1,320 possible results, because that's right, we understand that. So we're going to get our 1,320 possible results. Now that we have it, then here's the way this would wind up looking, okay? You could like, whether you delete the header or not. Right now, all I want to do right now is get that information, okay, 1,320, right? And onto a text file, I can send the guy and go, we're going to make a page for each one of these keywords. Those of you who understand the Moji toolbar enough, there's an articles concatenator. It actually concatenates the columns with a space between the the columns it only does two at a time but you can use it more than once so watch how this works articles i'm going to you see the little black down arrow now that i hit articles my next step is to highlight the two columns i want to use it on right there and submit now i can extend that out and i can see better sure enough it put them together you even put this var one var three together i'm going to wind up deleting it because i don't need this okay but i'm just showing you now watch articles and do it again. Whap. Boom. Guess what? I just did it. I created the whole list. So watch this now. I'm going to get rid of this. Like I said, I don't need it. Now, when this guy goes asking, what are you going to do? So you're going to create a web page for his site for each thing he needs because he already verified all the keywords in the cities and that he does commercial and residential. So you need to create a page, a single page for each one of these. So Google can see that. Google can see that he does each and every one of these things on his site. Okay, Google can see and find it and everything. It'll be on the sitemap. So you know what? A guy who had a five-page website and you show him the stack of what you're going to create, pages that target each of these things, is going to be really excited. All right? And if you just wanted to create a simple little project and show him, then, you know, you could do that. Uh, just long enough for him to see samples on your sample server or something like that. You know, just your, your demo server, wherever it is you put pages to show people before they buy. Right? You, don't wanna let, you could even just create some pages and some to the guy and say, hey, you can buy it. Uh, as soon as Google indexes it, you're going to understand the value. Now what you're going to need are a whole lot more pages. So you can gift pages and then write them down on your list to get back to them, to check Google, check their before and after, right, ranks.
let me get back to this idea. Who is that guy again? Griffith, right? Okay, let's try this. Elkar, I'll find him. Okay, Elkar Plumber. This Griffith guy right here. And if I got that domain, okay, let me get back before the lady pops up. <laughs> before the lady comes out, okay, and do this. 17 pages. 17. Now, they're about all the most important things, you know, what these guys do, right? But my gosh, they're all saying Elkhart comma Goshen, every single one of them. They all basically say, contact us, Griffin Plumbing and Heat Projects, Griffin Plumbing and Heat. How about us, Griffin Plumbing and Heat. Request an estimate, Griffin Plumbing and Heat. Commercial services. You know how not keyword oriented that is? Let me, let me put it this way. Let's take any one of these keywords, Granger, Indiana. I don't care. Let's just do a search for it. Okay. Well, now. I don't see him. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? I don't see him. Okay. I'm doing commercial drain cleaning, Granger, Indiana. He does that, we would expect. After all, Henry Smith PC is showing up because he's got a page for it. Okay. But I don't see my guy. All right. He's probably in here somewhere. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Again, you could go keyword by keyword to make your point in a second. I mean, it would take you a minute to make the point. You do two, three, four searches, and the guy gets it immediately. He's missing out. The other guys are showing up for these things, not him. So the other guys are getting sales, and he's not even in the running. All right, so you understand what's going on there? Let me remind you to delete <laughs> the other sheets. Even if you don't delete them, all you have to do is be on the right tab, be on your virus tab, save it. And there you go, and close it. Now we'll talk about, in the next video, how to incorporate the VARs into the HTML file so we can actually generate all those pages, right? Because that's like the whole point. Okay.